Okay, hey everybody. Um, I'm gonna try to multitask today and kind of get dinner started and talk to you guys at the same time. Um, I just wanted to kind of do a follow up to the video that I did the other day because I'm starting to feel a little bit better about everything. I guess I just needed to kind of vent about, you know, everything that I was experiencing. Um, we did go to the grocery store the other day um, and made it through that unscathed. However, I will say that um, the grocery store that we went to wasn't very small child friendly. Like if you have more than one kid, I had never noticed before about that grocery store, but um, apparently, like, you can only have one little kid in the buggy at a time. Normally, I let Savannah ride in the seat, and I'll put the baby in the, um, you know, like, in the actual buggy part, um, but their buggies at that particular grocery store weren't anywhere near large enough for his his seat and um like groceries but the commissary is closed on Mondays now so it's like I have to go you know like off base to the grocery store um you know if I'm gonna go on Monday so at any rate we made it through that um but like I said we ended up having to go to the grocery store again this morning. But that was fine because it was our regular grocery store um, here at the commissary. Now, I might have to keep reaching over and doing this um, to turn the computer back on because I don't know if it's going to record when the screen goes black. But at any rate, um, so if you see me reaching back and forth, that's what I'm doing. So, um, going to the grocery store is actually getting better as long as I keep it to a very small trip. Um, and on the weekends, I'll try to, these not seem to be sharpened. On the weekends, you know, I'll try to do better about going to the grocery store so I can go by myself. Um, but what else have we done? So we've done the grocery store a couple times. We actually went on an outing um, the other day after the grocery store, believe it or not. We came home, had lunch, and I took Savannah to look at the jets take off and land because that's something that she likes to do. And since it was raining, or it had been raining, um, the weather was like perfect to be outside because normally in Texas it's so hot that you can't even think when you're outside. But, you know... Um, that particular day, it was nice, so we went and sat out there and did that. Um, I've been able to get laundry done. I was able to do all of Savannah's laundry the other day, too. Um, so really, after doing that video with you guys, I felt a lot better about everything. Um, yeah, it's like my, my mood just kind of lifted after doing that, so maybe I'll continue to do these videos because that really seemed to help and everybody's advice on the other video the comments she left I really appreciated those um this onion has got me like sniffling but at any rate um you know I'm just doing a lot better as far as my mood goes um so I figured I would come back and do another video today and since Savannah is happy watching Max and Ruby and eating some popcorn and the baby is in a seat behind me quietly sitting there I just figured I'd use this time to kind of talk with you guys again and try to get dinner done um I know Rachel Ray by <laughs> any means but I figured, hey, if I'm going to be in the kitchen doing this, I could just set the computer up and talk to y'all at the same time. Um, today for dinner, 
We're trying a Pinterest recipe that I saw um, for short braids or braid short ribs with like a brown sugar kind of barbecue sauce to it. Um, however, I'm not using short ribs because today when I went to the commissary, short ribs are like ridiculously expensive for the amount that that I would have gotten. So I'm going to have to check for short ribs at another grocery store. Um, but if you follow me on Pinterest or Twitter, I tweeted out this recipe. Um, I think it's going to be really good. So we're going to have that with mashed potatoes, which is what I'm chopping up now. Mashed potatoes. Savannah likes corn on the cob, so I'll make her some of that. And my husband will probably want some baked beans or something like that. So maybe I'll put some of those on too. So we're going to have like a, a very southern kind of meal tonight for dinner. I try to start dinner early because normally at the at around, I don't know, maybe like 5, when most people probably are having dinner or starting to cook dinner, that's when Savannah tends to start getting a little tired because her bedtime is quickly approaching around that time. So I don't like to be in the kitchen trying to do stuff when I know her mood is not going to be the best. Um, so, anyway. That's what we're doing for dinner. Um, and that recipe it just calls for some brown sugar, two cups of beef broth, onions, coarsely chopped, your favorite barbecue sauce. Mix that all up, cook it for a little bit on top of the stove, then add it to your short ribs, which like I said, we're not using short ribs. We are using um, baby back ribs um, because those were a better deal today. So I'm going to do that. Um, and my hope is that I'm able to kind of stay with the schedule that we kind of stumbled across the other day when I did the first video. Um, I really like that because we were able to get up, go to the grocery store, we were able to do an outing, have lunch, um, I was able to like work and do stuff for the blog, which I have some great things and great opportunities coming up on the blog and I'm so excited about that. Um, I know I told everybody about the radio show that I'm working on in the planning phases for it and I want to make sure that it's well thought out, well planned before I launch it. So I'm working on that. Um, this video thing seems to be going pretty good. So I'm going to continue doing those. Um, and then I'm going to be working with some great brands too. So I'm excited about that as well. Let me grab this brown sugar. Um, so um, you know I'm very glad that um, I've been able to kind of vent to you guys about how everything is going. I was also glad to hear that other people had the same experience as I'm having. Like, it's not easy going from one to two. Because at first I thought I was kind of crazy for feeling like that until people were like, no, no, it's not, it's not easy. And I guess since, you know, for the most part, many of my girlfriends haven't had children yet, I haven't really have anybody let me know like what it would be like um so i'm starting to come into my own though and find my groove um my husband and i were talking about our goals for like the next few months last night at dinner and one of the things that we or that i talked about was the fact that i'm really trying to get in shape by my 30th birthday and that's in february so I know um, I'm going to be talking a little bit more about trying to find time to work out because I see that um, some of my other blogger friends 
with the kids. You know, they find that time to get all that stuff done. And that's what I'm trying to figure out for myself. Like, how can I find time to keep, you know, everything, keep everything moving, but then still find that time to do the things that I want to do. Um, so, anyway, I know this video seems, again, like I'm just babbling and randomly kind of talking off the top of my head, but it's been really good for me to have this as an outlet. So, I'm going to keep doing it. So, feel free to leave me some comments. The little one is starting to wake up back there. You hear that? In case you haven't heard a newborn cry lately, that's what it sounds like. Um, so, feel free to leave me some comments on what you think about what some of my next steps could possibly be. And I will be chatting with you guys again soon. Thank you for helping me get my dinner started, I guess. Oh, now he's quiet. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you guys for helping me get my dinner started. Um, and I will be, I will be in touch. So I'll see you. I'll see you around the world wide web. Bye, everybody.